Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on your currency. So you can see that market mostly stands in the same range, but today we've got more bearish signs. Once again, although on the euro currency one, uh, you could see that downside breakout hasn't happened yet. But at least some intraday patterns have been erased and actually the market has overcome the upper direction that has, has happened a couple of days ago. So by looking at the cross-market analysis, there are two moments that also look bearish for the euro currency. First of all, you could see what's going on on the 10 year bond. This upper direction, significant rally on the bond market. So difficult to say what the background, either the Bolivia cop or maybe some other reasons. But this market is coming to debate today with the Joe Biden and Donald Trump, although hardly this is the reason for this performance. But whatever it is, actually, uh, that's definitely supportive for United States dollar. And by taking a look once again on the dollar index, on the daily chart, recall what we talked about the hand shoulders, markets keep going higher, uh, sending the evidence signal that hand shoulders has failed a long time ago, and it's going to the previous top. Your currency is still holding around the area trying to resist to this pressure but on the futures of the euro currency you could see that this drop has happened and actually which pattern is becoming evident with the background that we have from the 10-year bonds and the dollar index i would suggest the chance on the downside breakout seems really significant so by taking a look at lower time frames on the full time frame chart market mostly stands in the same consolidation showing minor bounce out from it downside action that we have suggested has happened uh, but still stubbornly stands inside of it so currently we need to wait and see what will happen uh, maybe data will, will uh, bring some results here some breakout might happen so we will see but by taking a look at the lower time frames and full time frame chart has already talked about this as uh, mostly bearish from a technical point of view this is bearish consolidation because it has been formed after downside action usually this is continuation pattern and on the hourly chart you could see what what is going on so market struck significantly lower showing the wash rinse of the previous lows so we do not have even the grubber uh, sorry even the butterfly here because market has created the new low and that's why the only thing that still remains as we talked about this yesterday although I suggest that it's really very low chance that it will work, but at least if you still consider taking any long position in your currency, as we said yesterday, uh, you have to watch for patron because uh, that could save lots of money to you. If patron will not be formed, you just will not lose it. And uh, one of the patterns that might be formed here and that so seems more or less logical in the current situation is probably the hand shoulders. So we talked about this yesterday. So market was not able to start up reduction from the 127 extension to the downside. So it has been uh, precisely 1618 extension, which is typical for the hand shoulders. Now just keep an eye what's going on around it. So for others, uh, as we said, those who would like to take the position on the breakout. So you still could use the stop selling order here, uh, assessing for the possible downside breakout. If you do not want to see the to wait when the breakout will happen and take position on the pullback, which is a common strategy. If you would like to participate precisely in the breakout moment, then the using of the stop selling order might be the solution for this. So that's actually what we have currently. So I would say that personally, I do not like uh, your currency performance. If we would consider it from the bullish point of view, it's definitely heavy with the bearish background on the cross market analysis, dollar index and 10 year bonds. It absolutely are not uh, inspiring for taking any long position by far. Uh, still, if you, as I said, if you still would like to do this, maybe you have some your own vision on the current situation. Please wait for the patrons. Uh, do not take the position without the clear bullish patrons. For a bearish position taken, 
Um, it depends on your strategy. So if you trade on the high time frames, maybe you could uh, actually consider position taking right now. But if you prefer to a bit more fine tuning of the entry, either use the stop selling order in the moment of the breakout, so you, you will take the execution. Or in this classical approach, wait for downside breakout will happen and then watch for minor pullback, minor rally to sell into. That's what you commonly do when we're trying to take position with uh, some particular uh, swing in the market. That's in two words that we have.